PET, is an acronym for polyethylene terephthalate, which is a long-chain polymer, belonging to the generic group of polyesters. PET is formed by a polymerization reaction, between an acid, and alcohol. It is manufactured from terephthalic acid, a dicarboxylic acid, and ethylene glycol, a dialcohol. The two substances react together, to form along polymer chains with water as a byproduct. It is performed at 240 to 260 degrees Celsius, and at 300 to 500 kPa. PET is an example of thermoplastic. It is a type of plastic that can be heated, and reformed repeatedly once the plastic is formed. This property of plastic polymers, provide a lot of flexibility, and freedom in design, whilst being lightweight but strong, enabling packaging to be tailored to the product. PET is strong and durable, chemically and thermally stable, has low gas permeability and is easily processed and handled. This combination of properties, make PET a desirable material for a wide range of applications, and a significant component of worldwide plastic consumption. PET plastic is recyclable and it poses low risk of leaching breakdown products. Its recycling rates remain relatively low, around 20%, even though the material is in high demand by manufacturers, mechanical recycling preserves the molecular structure. It mechanically crushes the plastic and remelts it into granulate. This granulate is then used to make new plastic products. Recently, chemical recycling of PET has been investigated as an innovative solution to the treatment of post-consumer PET. Depolymerization is an example of chemical recycling. Glycolytic depolymerization of PET wastes is a process to produce high value of bis 2 hydroxyethylene terephthalate BHET, monomer using ethylene glycol. This process can be used to produce high purity beverage bottle grade PET, in a closed loop process with minimal waste. One of the example is. BHET goes through a melt and solid phase polymerization process, that produces PET flakes, then can be turned into new PET bottles or higher value added products, such as anti-corrosive PET film for aluminum drink cans made by Toyosikan. Clothes made from recycled PET fibers are displayed, at the Minato Resource Recycle Center in Tokyo. Dr. Wong Kwakon, Director of the Regulatory Programs Department under the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority AVA, says it is not advisable to repeatedly use the same single-use bottles over a prolonged period. Why? Nearly half of single-use PET beverage bottles are collected for recycling, the resultant polyester fibers are destined mostly to only one additional use. The remaining PET plastic ends up in our environment, in landfills and in our oceans. However, there is hope. In 2016, scientists from Japan discover a bacteria called Adianella sarcarensis that could break down and digest the single-use PET plastic. This could help shrink time for plastic to degrade from hundreds of years to a few days. Enzyme known as PETase, is secreted and it splits esters in PET, so that the smaller molecules can be absorbed by bacteria. They use carbon in them as food source. Bio-based PET material is composed of 30% plant-derived ethanol glycol and 70% fossil-derived terephthalic acid TPA. It is fully recyclable and renewable bioplastic material. The Avantium YXY approach uses C6 sugars to produce furanics, then furan decarboxylic acid, which when polymerized with bioethylene glycol, e.g., will form biopolyethylene furanoate PEF, a totally new 100% bio-based polymer. Polylactic acid PLA, a thermoplastic polyester derived from renewable resources such as corn starch, tapioca or sugar cane. Alternatives to PL are now rising in the market are the polyhydroxyl kinotes PHA. It is produced using completely new technology, as they are, in practice, the digestion byproduct of cellulosic material by some select bacteria. One of the largest PHA producers is the USA-based company Danima Scientific, who recently signed a global partnership with Nestle to develop biodegradable PHA bottles.